Well, good morning on the actual day 29. I think yesterday I said it was day 29, but this is actually day 29. So I had a, a good night's sleep last night up until right before I got up. And I heard that same sound and I did record it this time. I'll play a little recording. There's no, there's no picture because there's not enough light. But yeah, he sounded pissed and it, there was enough light that I was able to see him this time. So he was, he was relatively close. But at any rate, I'm headed down to Alba Iulia, which is by the look of it, quite a large town, city. So that'll be interesting and get to get resupplied and all that. And again, I'm walking on my favorite time of day and feels like it's going to be a good day. Yeah, not the best sound to wake up to. If I feel like as I've continued this, uh, this walk, the bears are actually becoming a little bit more of a problem. And it may be that they're more habituated to human contact out here. I don't know. I mean, this, that was the uh, last significant patch of forest before a big city. So it may be that there are people feeding them or I don't know, something, but they're definitely nowhere near as uh, afraid of humans as the as the ones that were further further north and further north and east. So yeah, as far as bear spray goes, bear spray certainly can work, but you don't want to rely on bear spray too much. There was a couple, um, I think, just over the U.S. Canada border, just a few months ago, that was. Uh, just checking these dogs out. Yeah, they're behind the fence. Uh, a couple of months ago, who was, um, they were both killed. Oh, they're not all behind the fence. They were killed by, uh, killed by grizzly, a grizzly bear. And they both had bear spray. And they emptied two full canisters of bear spray, but it uh, didn't do any good, unfortunately. A young woman was tragically killed here in Romania a few weeks ago by a bear. And I've heard more than once I've heard people kind of making the call for, you know, taking care of the problem, meaning killing, you know, all the brown bears. And, you know, it brings up the question, is there a place for wilderness, for wildness in the modern world? And their argument that a human life is worth more than the life of a bear, I certainly agree with. But I think the world needs wild places and wild things. It does something to my soul, anyway, to my spirit, just to know that such places exist, even if I never go there, to know that there are still wild rivers that are undammed and there's still places, even in Europe, where wild animals roam. And the world hasn't become completely safe and sanitized. Now, when a bear becomes habituated to the point where it's killing people or attacking people, then yeah, I think, yeah, the bear needs to be killed. Bears need to be kept wild. And people need to be educated on not feeding bears, not posing for pictures with bears that are habituated to humans.
but the fact that there are still places in the world like that enriches me and the fact that there are places where we can go where we can test ourselves a little bit in the way that people used to have to do but now people do voluntarily bringing us back somehow to the spirit of what we were in a little way in a small way part of the reason that attracted me to Romania was the brown bears roaming free. I mean, you don't find that in very many places anymore. Pockets of wildness, pockets of wilderness. So, I don't know. That's just some of my thoughts on it for what that's worth. So it's such a beautiful late afternoon, and this is such a nice spot with uh, the wind blowing the trees and the forest is beautiful. And I think the sunset's going to be great. And it's just such a special treat to be here. And I promised you guys a special treat too. And I just wanted to set it up a little bit. I went to a Romanian Orthodox service down in Alba Iulia in the cathedral there. And, you know, I don't, uh, don't really speak Romanian, and I don't know the Orthodox liturgy, so my head didn't really understand what was going on, but my heart really did. And I was so moved by the singing, and I hope that you will be too. I'm just going to show you a couple pictures of the cathedral and then there'll be two longish clips about two and a half minutes each and then three just shorter little 15 or 30 second clips and again i hope that you're as moved by this as i was take care god bless